we'll try our second part again so I have no idea why Facebook suddenly stopped um, let me just trim this one down the other way and then work out what bits to take off so I hope you managed <laughs> to get back and find me go see if anybody's made their way back no worries if you haven't because you can catch us oh hi Tracy you can at least watch this little bit on replay so I don't know what's going on, I'm sure, but we're back. There we go. And add my card for my base layer like so there we go with our two cards from those let me just see if I can find my embossing folder. And indeed I have. Which is this one here I know you can't see much of that detail um, but let's pop one of the pieces through and see what effect we get this one I think looks like a few of you have made it back so this is the embossing folder and it's got seaweed and all sorts all the way over. So I'm just going, I've put the whole thing in, but you could do this part the way through if you wanted just the seaweed and stuff at the bottom. But I'm going to put it like that. Let me just pop it through my machine and then hopefully you'll see the difference Grab my other plates. Which is in the other room. Bear with me one second. back right sorry to keep you 
could have put those in there for you to see them, couldn't I, while I'm doing this. So I'm just embossing the background with the seabed embossing folder, which is this one here. And if you can see that, all of that definition, if I turn it over, you might actually see the design a bit better. Possibly. There we go. So. There we have it. So I will just, um, I won't mount that actually because I haven't got any other card ready um, to mount it onto. So the one thing I would do with this is make sure you stamp the sentiment before you put it through the embossing folder or add the sentiment separately um, on a, a die cut or just a piece of card. Oh, you can see it. Oh, good. <laughs> Let me just see if I've got a small sentiment sized piece. Oh, I've got a hello. That would do. Funny enough, I, this is one that I've put through one of the tags that I've put through. There we go. Let's use one of those. What I'm going to do is stamp it with my sentiment and then just use my blending brush around the end. So I would quickly do that as a whale done. be good for all those children doing their mock exams at the moment under these weird circumstances so I'm just going to oops ink it properly to start with that in the middle there we go put my ink away before I put my fingers in it and then I'm going to use my blending brush which has still got plenty of ink on it just to go around the edges so sorry if <laughs> you got cut off from the first part or sorry if you're joining me for the second part because we were rudely removed for some reason after the first part of our Facebook live there we go I add so I might add a bit of green but I don't think I need to there we go. Just don't want it quite as stark on there. Oh, I might even put it down here. There we go. So I just trim this one down, and that's that one done. So thank you. So this one has got the embossing folder on it. I think I'm going to trim that little bit off the top. Oh. <laughs> Hi Brenda, yes we're back. <laughs> so you'll be able to watch both bits surely. <laughs> so this has got the embossing folder on it. But if you can see that, as you can see it quite well now. In that light. And... I'm going to take this bit off actually. There we go. And add my whale done actually down here, I think. Press that. 
that pop that on with some dimensionals and we're all done so sorry it was a bit longer than i intended today i was trying to stick to my um sort of half hour rule so do apologize And here we go. So this is pick and mix, way all done with some one cheap wonder style stamping. And um, a bit of embossing folder and a bit of blending with the blending brush. So there's that one. And what I will do is finish this one off as well. I might make this a bit darker. Didn't quite work out as I'd hoped. Um, so this bit on the right hand side is okay, but this is a bit too dark. So I might go over that and finish that one off. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me today. I shall be back tomorrow. Um, and tomorrow I decided we're going to do the kissing technique. Um, if you haven't done that one before, it's where you take two stamps and you kiss one against the other before you stamp the image. So that's my pick and mix design for tomorrow. So I hope you're able to join me. Um, thank you for joining me today and putting up with the um, interruptions. I hope you have enjoyed what you've seen. Um, take care, look after yourselves. I hope you can stay safe, stay warm and dry at the moment. Look after each other and keep crafting. Thank you so much. Bye bye.